Three years ago this week, Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords was shot down outside a supermarket in an assassination attempt. Gunman Jared Lee Loeffner also shot 19 others, killing six. Today, Mike Sharp sits down with one survivor to talk about that day and about the heroics of a husband she lost. Bobby Stoddard isn't a victim, and she'll correct you if you call her one. She's a survivor, and she's now moved to Boise to be closer to family. But even states away, the three-year anniversary brings back the memory of the day she lost the love of her life. He was probably the kindest, most compassionate, God-loving man I've ever met. And he taught me to be a much kinder person. When Mavi Stoddard talks about her husband, Dory, she isn't just talking about the love of her life. She's also talking about the man who saved her life. It was Dory's quick action that kept Mobby from being killed by Jared Lee Loeffner when he opened fire at a Tucson mall three years ago this week. I was shot three times in the legs, but he was killed. I felt his body give. Dory used his own body to block the bullets from Mobby, and after those bullets stopped, the loving couple spent his last moments together. I'm grateful that God let me hold Dory as he died. It took about seven to ten minutes. But I was able to tell him that I wasn't hurt, and of course that I loved him. And uh, that was what he, what he wanted. He died with a smile on his lips. Three years later, the memory of that day hasn't faded. But Stoddard has made her way to Boise, getting her closer to a daughter and grandchildren. She says her focus now is living in honor of her late husband. You can either sit down and do nothing and be miserable and bitter, or you can sit down, do nothing, and let your kids tell you what to do and still be miserable and bitter. Or you can make a life. And that's what I chose to do. Stoddard faced Loeffner at a sentencing hearing. But she says even with Loeffner now behind bars, the shooting still doesn't make sense. He murdered six people in vain, and he hurt 13 of us and would have killed us all. And what for? There's no rhyme or reason to any of these shootings. I mean, like those 20 babies in Connecticut. What for? That's a question she's left asking, with no answer on its way. But she says her goal now is to spread what she does know to every person she can. If you love someone, hug them and tell them that you love them before they, you leave them. Nothing on this earth is worth being sorry you didn't. Stoddard says she's found a way to forgive Loeffner for the murder of her husband. And what comforts her now is her own belief in an afterlife. And then she'll see her husband once again. Live in studio, I'm Mike Sharp. Today's 6 on your side.